Hey YouTube, how's it going? Um, this is WD, and today we're going to be creating a uh, video tutorial. Well, I guess we're not going to be creating a video tutorial, we're going to be creating a website layout, which will be similar to this, but it won't be this. Um, personally, I don't really like this layout, uh, but it is a very simple layout that you guys uh, can create, which I'm going to show you guys how to basically make. Um, ours is going to be hopefully a little better than this, but it should still be pretty cool. Alright, let's go ahead and start. Um, now it's going to be similar to this, but it's not going to be the same thing. Um, the first thing we need is obviously a background color. So choose any background color. Um, in my case, I have this uh, color, which is 55353. Um, this is for like when you have CSS or HTML, if you need a background color. Uh, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, what's probably about after this tutorial. Uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to create a uh, little like header or banner at the top here which ours is going to be about that big about a hundred um, down on the ruler here from zero so it's going to go from here to a hundred I'll actually move down to a little bit farther than a hundred so um, now we're going to use two different color greens we're going to use a dark green and we're going to use a light green and this is going to create our uh, our header here so we want something, actually I'll probably break down. Uh, that does work a little better. Let's see. Try to make something that uh, looks kind of pleasant. That looks pretty pleasant. But to me, I think I need a lighter color green in here still. So we're going to use that color green. It's a different kind of color, so it should kind of blend pretty cool, um, hopefully, here. So. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, so that'll be our like slogan area, our header area, that type of thing. Uh, after that, we're going to create a nav bar, which is going to be right here, and uh, we're going to try to make like a metal kind of color here. So we're going to use uh, these two colors. We're going to use this uh, dark gray, which is nine a nine a nine a, and then we're going to use this lighter gray right here, which is d o d o d zero d zero d zero. So. Uh, these are the two colors that we're using, and we're going to first start out with a um, this like uh, thing right here. As you can see, looks kind of blocky. We're just going to keep this for right now, and then we're going to select this. We're going to pull it about halfway down, and we're going to reverse the colors. We're going to try to um, well, let's see if I did it. Uh, not quite, but we're close. Uh, we're going to try to make like a divot inside there. So we're going to uh, change it to just a little bit of a lighter gray on this one. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try and... Ooh, that's a lot of thunder. Uh, I'm going to try... Well, I guess you, you'll see if I get it done. I can't really explain what I'm trying to do, but if I do it, you guys will see it. Yeah, something like this, where there's a like almost... Uh, you, you see like the uh, divot inside there, like it looks like it's dropping down. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to edit, we're going to use stroke selection. We're going to make this a little bit darker. So it's about there. Uh, make sure it's only about a pixel. Stroke it. And that will give you this area right here. Alright, and then we're going to grab this. Try not to grab any of the green. Uh, Control C, Control V, that will copy and paste. All right, then we're going to select a move. And we're going to move it right underneath. So that's way about there. Then we're going to flip it vertically. So there we go, it's flipped. There we go. Now, as you can see, it did grab a little bit of the green. So I'm going to zoom in just in this area, select the green, and delete it out. I might as well just fill it. So I'll fill it with the uh, background color here. So grab the fill. There we go. So now I'm just going to zoom out. Okay, so now we have something like this place to put our uh, navigation uh, things here. Okay, uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a menu. Alright, so. Uh, 
we're gonna create the menu. It's gonna be about that large. All right, we're going to fill it with a single color here. Um, we're gonna use a lighter color, so about that color right here. It's gonna fill. Okay, then we're going to change this to a dark gray. Uh, we'll pull it up here, get a different color. Uh, about there. We don't want it to be a background color. We want it to be just lighter than the background. So now we're going to stroke selection. Got to select stroke. And what that'll do, or at least what it should do, is it should make shadow here. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to grab these. We're going to pull them over like this. All right, then it'll flip around so that we can do our content area. We're going to do the same stroke, but first we have to fill it with a different color. So, we don't want it to be the same color, obviously, because that would look a little odd. Uh, so, we're going to use a little bit different color. We could use a green, we could use an orange, orange would look kind of cool. Um, I think I'm going to stick with like a gray. So, something like this. So that might look a little bit off though, which it does. So we'll just actually keep it the background color will be the color of the uh, the way the layout that I guess. So I guess we could just stroke it with this color. So I'll go ahead and edit, stroke selection, stroke. That should give you the background here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and fill it with the uh, color here. So we're going to fill it with the regular background color. Okay, good. And that'll give us like a drop shadow here, and then a shadow there. Okay, now what we can do is we can grab right inside here, about that much of it, and we're going to fill it with a dark color. Something about there. Go ahead and just fill this. What that'll do is that'll give us space between the uh, content area and this area. So if I click Z, I zoom in, I look, there's that little dividing line there, which doesn't look like it does a lot, but it really kind of does. Um, you can't really see it if you zoom down a lot, but this is about where you, how you'll see it. It's going to be from hopefully something like this. So you're going to notice. Okay, uh, now what you can do is you can start. I think I like this very much. Okay, now what you can do is you can fill all of that in. So, um, with like your text, whatever text that you want or whatever. And there you go. You got your basic website layout set up. And yeah, that's it. So if you guys need any help or anything else, let me know. Um, I'll be here to help. I'll also cut this up and help you guys with CSS in a later video. So I'll go ahead and save this. It's new. And then it'll save on XCF. And that's it. If you guys enjoyed this video, um, hope you guys learned something about creating website layouts, even though this is a beginner tutorial. And uh, please feel free to leave a comment, rate, and uh, subscribe. All right, see you later.